So here we are again, everyone, and uh, we have another nice car to enter my collection. It's uh, Bentley by the brand Kyosho, and uh, typical Kyosho blisters is a, called a blister pack because this is a blister, right? And it comes on this plastic base, but before that, let's get into the packaging here in case you want to look at the other cars from the collection. Unfortunately, there's no price. I don't see a price on this box, uh, but here, if I focus, come on. So yeah, that's uh, the other colorways and models in this particular collection. This is on the bottom there, 2015 Kyosho. So this model is getting old, all right. Under that blister pack, there was this card, and I'm guessing that says like maybe 630 horsepower from the W12 engine, and maybe it goes 300 kilometers per hour. There are only two color choices on this one, white and uh, black, so. I guess if I have to pick the two, I'd rather go with a metallic white because we can see more of the body contours, right? Okay, so this is going to be on a screwed base. Let me get this off. So this is the first generation Bentley Continental chassis, which was uh, first coming out in 2009, and I think it was sold up until 2011. This is the first Bentley to offer a, a biodiesel uh, fuel option. <clears throat> it could either run on regular gasoline or E85 ethanol fuel, where 85% of that gas is biofuel, so that's pretty cool. And uh, still, on either fuel, this thing would go 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, which is alarmingly fast for such a heavy, large vehicle. And uh, it could also go over 200 miles per hour, and uh, the super sports version of the Continental, what we're looking at here, can actually pull 1.29 G's on a skid pad, so that's pretty impressive. And then uh, part of the reason I think is it's the massive tires and it has all-wheel drive. It also has continu continuous damping control, it's rolling on 20 inch wheels, and has carbon ceramic brakes, and I guess is lighter than the standard Continental GT, and it has an automatic rear spoiler, and sold for over a quarter of a million dollars. So that's why I found out about this vehicle. Let's get into the model, uh, model now. So it is a metallic white, which is nice. Unfortunately, it's a little orange peely. You can kind of see, hopefully, you know, it's not the smoothest surface there. Okay, so we do have a Bentley uh, logo, and yeah, I can read the B there, so that looks good. There are these painted uh, vents that are pretty well done because it's silver, and then there's black inside of that, I think. Well, now, it's so reflective here. Maybe it's just white, actually. I think it's just a black graphic. Graphic. Well, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm holding this so close to my face and I can't even tell. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I, I know obviously there's black there, but I just don't know if that outer ring is silver or the same color as the body. Oh boy. I guess my eyes are going. So we have these plastic lights. They're kind of weird looking. I don't know. You can kind of see a light bucket there, but when you look at it straight on, it just, it's an abyss of darkness, so it's kind of weird to me. Okay. We got a textured black grill pretty much everywhere, so that's nice. I almost feel like this is a separate piece of plastic on all these. It's not metal. It's definitely plastic, so... I Yeah, that's pretty nice attention to detail. The wheels look pretty accurate, although the axle on this one's a little jacked, of course. This one doesn't really want <coughs> it doesn't want to roll. It's just too much friction. Something's going on in there. There is uh, is that printing right there? Yeah, I think there's something printed there. It's it's not legible. It's a little silver, but maybe it says like Continental on the real car. This black line is well done. It's a tampo. It's not a decal, so it's good. There you can see that silver paint. Well, not silver, it's metalized pearl, pearl metallic. And actually the wheels seem to have a metallic black. You can see the lug nuts on the wheels, pretty neat. Okay. Hmm. Just looking at the panel gaps here. This, this one seems pretty big. I've seen better from Kyosho. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the mirrors here, there's no silver paint or anything like that, and they seem to actually be part of the casting. But that's pretty impressive, you know, considering this is a piece of metal that's part of this. Look how thin the stock is, right? It's not just one blob like a Hot Wheels. This is actually a really nicely casted mirror, 
pretty impressive. Okay, so we got a door handle graphic there, a little black there. The window trim has, you know, is black, painted black. The rear view, we got the nice exhaust tips, right? The little ovals, there's like chrome plastic paint or something, or silver paint. I think it might just be silver paint. A little black detail there, it's just smooth, smooth surface though. Okay, good. Bentley looks good. Nice uh, thick uh, rear tail lights. See, you can see the the depth of it. Looks pretty neat. Oh well, I'm now noticing you can actually see the ovals like on the real car. So this is red plastic, and they painted the graphic over it, so you can hopefully you can see that there's two ovals there. So that's pretty neat. Or maybe it's three. Hmm, I can definitely see two top ovals. Okay, so top view. Hopefully, I don't know what that, I'm not sure what that is. If it's a stain or, I can feel it. Uh, it's, it's just some random gunk. Okay, so as usual, black interior from Kyosho, you can't really see much detail because this is dark, so that's too bad. Okay, the bottom is typical, I guess of Kyosho as well. Some info. No year of when it was made, but we saw that in the box. Yeah, again, that doesn't want to roll at all. What's nice is it's screwed together, so you could paint that interior pretty easily. And then the tires look pretty correct for something of this high performance. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, so let's compare it to some photos, and really, then you can decide if you think this is a realistic looking model. I think it looks pretty realistic. Let's see if I can focus on that white car there, white model. Yeah, look at that. Vents. Yeah, I guess the headlights could have been bigger. Uh, that would be my one super critical critique, because clearly I mean, this is a little bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and try the rear view here. So you can see, you know, on the real car, you got those ovals there. And so it's really nice that uh, Kyosho was able to duplicate that. Unfortunately, I can't seem to focus on the car and the photograph at the same time. They're just kind of halfway in between, so they're half blurry each way. Okay. So very nice. My Bentley collection from Kyosho is slowly filling out. I got a few more to go. <clears throat> so I do have the... My very first uh, Kyosho Bentley was the convertible version of this. And so this is a nice red metallic. Hopefully the Spin Master can spin those two. And then uh, a Mini GT, they have the fourth generation, or is it the third generation, I forget, but this is a, you know the latest version of the Continental GT. It's a great model as well. And so, <coughs> the front view, you can obviously see the later one is just a much bigger vehicle. And I do like the giant lights on that Mini GT. Okay, so let's go to the top view. Yeah, again. So the Kyoshos, uh, I'm pretty sure they're actually 164 scale. I'm pretty sure the Mini GT is as well. But uh, anyways, it's just nice to have these. So if you're uh, on the fence of uh, you know buying a Kyosho Bentley, hopefully this video helped you out. I think they're worth it. I, I like them. By today's modern diecast standards, you know, they're a bit lacking. You know, they don't have reflective mirrors or anything like that. And the interiors are just plain black. But you gotta remember, these things probably were less than $10 when they were sold at retail. I would guess maybe this thing was like 7 or $8 when it was brand new. So, I think for that kind of price, it's a pretty great model, these Kyoshos. Okay guys, well I appreciate you watching again, and look after yourself.